Ask the Bedheads. I'm Jeremy Lowe, this is Colin Lowe, and we call ourselves Bedheads because we eat, sleep, and dream about landscape beds. Um, I got an email here that I thought was a really good question, and I wanted to go over it so that more than one person gets the answer. Um, the, the, what you're seeing here is a picture of a, uh, of a, uh, of a um, red bud um, growing in, a, in one of our client's front yards. And the uh, email asks, um, our client is worried about this tree in her front yard and specifically the roots being exposed. She is worried that it'll tip over because the ground is so hard in their neighborhood um, and wanted to see what can be done about the exposed roots. Is it a problem? Um, she was curious about covering it up with mulch, but is that recommended? All fantastic questions. And um, what I would say is that normally shallow rooting on a tree is somewhat a factor of the type of tree. Everybody knows that magnolias have really shallow roots. Everybody knows that bald cypress will form what's called root knees, big knobs of root that come up above the soil. Some of that is specific to the, to the variety of tree, um, the species. And some of it is a, just a little phenotypical variation on that particular tree. So with live oaks, we get a lot of questions about live oaks that throw up tons of suckers underneath them. It almost looks like a ground cover. That is a lot like freckles on a human being. Um, some of them just do that. So in this case, to answer this question about shallow roots, most of the time a tree is going to root in a, you're going to see surface roots either because of the type of tree that it is, it just does that, or there's a situation in the yard where the tree was, um, was trying to respond to, um, to, to lower than ideal oxygen uh, conditions in the soil. So a shallow root system might mean that the tree was needing more oxygen. For a tree, when they respirate, their oxygen comes from the roots, not from the, uh, from the air. And it comes from the air that's in the soil. Um, so if you see shallow roots on a tree, it usually means that the tree was trying to breathe. Um, covering that with more soil is the opposite of what is good for the tree. Um, so in this situ, and as far as the tree toppling over, I've never seen it where surface roots caused a tree to topple over because they do have roots down deeper. They just put some of their roots at the surface to get more air. Um, so it doesn't necessarily make the tree less stable um, unless your soil profile is only five inches deep and then that's a problem for any tree or any plant. Um, but in this case, is the tree likely to tip over due to, um, she had mentioned that the soil in the neighborhood was hard. That usually just means that it's got a high clay content. Um, that alone will not make a tree fall over. Um, although I, I, it's a good question. Um, in this case, the best thing you can do with the uh, surface tree roots um, is not necessarily a problem for the tree. It's a problem for the homeowner and the guy that's mowing the lawn. The homeowners don't always like the aesthetics of it, understandably, and the guy that's mowing the lawn doesn't like how bumpy and hard it can be on his equipment to try to mow those areas. So what I would do in this situation is adding a little bit of mulch around the tree to kind of level all that out, to take away some of the undulation and take away the need to, to, to mow in there is the best thing to do. Um, with the mulch around the tree, the main thing is just don't pile it up against the trunk. It should kind of look like a donut. You should pull that mulch away from the trunk, top dress it around where those exposed roots are, and, um, and ideally create some kind of um, zero edge around it. We don't like the mortared stone edges um, at all, um, but a nice little edge that will help contain that mulch and allow ease of maintenance is the proper solution. Thanks for checking in with our bed heads. If you have any questions like this, we love making these videos and answering these questions. It's something that we're passionate about. Send us a quick video or a photo or a question and we will make a video on it and respond to it. So thanks for checking in.